So, how do you sew a masterpiece? How do I turn this into fashion? I'll show you how. Coming up. Hey, Chanel here, bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing. And be more creative, too. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss out on a new video. So I found this lovely panel with the Van Gogh painting on it. Well, it's just a print. But this is Van Gogh's Iris painting from 1890, I think. Like 100 years ago. <laughs> and I just love it. I'm going to the Van Gogh exhibit and I thought this would be a great skirt to wear. But what do you do with that? It's just a panel. Then the very next day, I went to this other fabric store and I found this, Panay Velvet. Oh my gosh. And look how they go together. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. So I immediately went into designer mode and I sketched out a sketch that I think will make these two work together, these two fabrics, and just use a little bit of that panel in there, just a print and a print on the side, and then I'll have a skirt to wear to the Van Gogh exhibit this summer. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you how I'm going to make it. Today, I'm going to get my skirt cut out, my Van Gogh crazy panel skirt cut out. I hope it works out. <laughs> it's always nerve-wracking to start another project and don't know if it's going to work out. So I did a rough sketch of it right here. So I did like the print inside there and the printed uh, gore side panel there and then the two solids and it's the same on the front and the back. My pattern drafted, ready to go. And I also have my two pattern pieces and I wrote on here because I got so confused with what side is what. <laughs> Asymmetrical is driving me crazy. Um, so I wrote on here print on this one and print on that one. So I know which sides go on the print. All right, I'm going to get started cutting this masterpiece out. All right, three panels cut out. Wow. Doesn't look like much yet. But when I add the other fabric, it's a masterpiece. And plus, look how much fabric I have left over. I'm going to be making something pretty cool out of this. I see a patchwork skirt working for me there. All right, got the panne velvet all cut out. It's so luxurious. This feels so good. Can't even believe it. <laughs> And then I got my panels already cut out, and uh, now I got to sew them all together. Just a few seams here and there. Probably looks easy, but then there's always a problem. <laughs> so I'm going to get to this tomorrow. The cutting was stressful enough. Got to take a break. All right, I'm back to sew my skirt together. Oh, I got my hair cut. It looks a little different. <laughs> I asked her, please don't chop it all off this time. And she, she did much better. She didn't uh, chop it all off. <laughs> anyway, so I have these funny looking pieces. Oh my gosh. These are, what do you do with these? It's the strangest skirt I've ever seen. The trick to these panels is make sure you get some notches in there. And I cut the notches because this fabric frays so badly. I cut them so small, so small that I can barely see them. So um, what are you going to do? But I got one together because now this is a velvet next to a cotton. Um, this is pretty soft cotton and uh, velvet slips a lot. So I had to put a lot of pins in here and I got my first seam done right here. And that is how it's going to look on the dress form. That is going to be really pretty. Really uh, dramatic. I love it. 
and uh, trying to put usually I put pipings and everything but won't work on this one so then I got to get the, the pan the side panels in but the first step is to sew all of these and then um, I'll get those panels in so I'll show you how it's coming wow this is really coming together this is so pretty together this is exciting I got one more panel to do just wanted to see how this was looking I'm gonna put this uh, side seam right here I'll show you how it looks on the dress form like that this fabric is so slippery and that is how it's coming oh my gosh it's really pretty now I gotta get the other panel in here so I have this one to do and I love this one because the vase is right in the middle and that's gonna go right in there and then try it on see how it fits I may not have to do a zipper because um, just for me because I'm very square so I could just kind of get it on so I'm just gonna baste the side and see if it fits I'm hoping not because putting an invisible zipper velvet not so easy anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, get that panel in there and I'll show you my progress right got all of my seams in here got the gourd uh, panels right up here they look funny all in there but that's how you get those in <laughs> you just connect them up to the circles here and now I have to press um, all of these towards the velvet that seems to be the best way for these to lie and then we got nice little corners right there and uh, there's that panel and the panel other panels just nothing but panels just got to watch your notches get them in there right here's the other panel here it's looking pretty good so now turn this inside out see how this looks on the dress form it looks like liquid gold <laughs> Black diamonds. Oh my God, so beautiful. Really looks good with this print. Oh my gosh, this is really gonna be fun to wear and it just feels so wonderful. So I'll put it on the dress form, see how this fits, and then I'm gonna do the elastic up here. All right, this is how it's looking on the dress form. It's lying really well. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be beautiful. I tried it on, it fits really good in the waist it's a little bit big but I can get it on without putting a zipper in it and then I just have to use my uh, rollover elastic like uh, the, it's a one inch rollover elastic my favorite stuff because I always wear tops that just go like right over the waist and then it's comfortable I don't have to have a zipper in it it's not cutting into my skin and and it's, it's comfortable and this the fabric just feels so good I'm not gonna line it either but I'm just gonna put this on and then I'm going to hem it later. Um, one thing on the hem, I uh, don't like this panel part sticking out right here. It really draws the eye down. So I'm just gonna be hemming this right where it hits there. And um, I think I'll still have my vase. I love the vase on the side panel right here. It looks so great. <laughs> and then the blue's right there. So all that blue's gonna get tucked in. And then in the back, this one too, the same, it's the same uh, shape. So um, I'm going to hem it later because a hem, you can do that. <laughs> um, a hem is a hem. Well, no, you, it's important to do hems pretty well. So I'm probably going to just overlock it and then hand stitch it up for sure. Um, just do the elastic and then this skirt is done. And it's going to hang into my closet until the Van Gogh exhibit. Coming soon. All right, now I'm onto the elastic. I just put it around my waist and kind of pulled it a little bit with whatever was comfortable. And then I um, marked the half part and then the quarters, and then I'm same on the skirt. So I'm going to have this go from side seam to side seam, and then um, where the half is on the front and the back. And then, so see, I got to put this. Just roll it over that way. Put a pin in there, and then. Um, I can actually leave that one hanging right away. I'm going to start it here, and then right here it just has that little gap, and then I pull it as I sew right there, and then it just goes in there. And I'm going to do like a little zigzag, like a not the stretch stitch, but I think the zigzag because if I'm pulling it as I sew, it um, 
won't, uh, uh, I don't need the stretch stitch. And then if I have to take it out, if I got it too tight or too loose, then it's easier to take out. So I just go around it. That's how simple the elastic is. To get this elastic started, I'm going to take that tray off and put this on, I think, an elastic, uh, what do you get? a zigzag. I'm going to start right at this one, the side seam. Always have your fabric out to the left. Actually, you should put the needle down before I put the, take the pin out. And then the goal is to put this edge right up underneath there and while I'm stretching. The smaller the, your waist, the easier this is. <laughs> I will. I'm actually going to put it on some faster speed too. is in. Get that all clipped off there. Get all these threads out of here. Okay. Elastic's in. Now I'm going to go press those marks off and put on my dress form and see how it looks. Elastic went in beautifully. It should fit pretty well. Hope I didn't go too loose and it falls off. <laughs> I got all my seams overlocked here. Boy, velvet doesn't like to be overlocked either. And then I also marked my hem um, right about where that blue is going to come in. I'll either have to try it on at home and see if the blue is okay or if I just go right to the rust then put some marks and then did uh, an overlock. And uh, hopefully that's a good hem. And I will do that later. I'm just going to be rolling that up and then hand stitching it here. I got to press it real lightly and then definitely use a vela board when I press the velvet and just do a press and then a hand stitch on it so a nice hem and then um, the insides are all overlocked together that's the skirt it's gonna be fun to wear all right got my skirt 90% uh, done still have to do the hem but I uh, got the elastic in there so it's a little bit uh, bigger than me, my dress form, <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to wear it. Skirt is done. I'll show you, take a photo and show you um, how it looks on. I also have to make a top out of this black, but I'm not going to do that for a little while. I haven't made a top for quite a long time uh, for myself. <laughs> I've always been making skirts. <laughs> anyway, so if you love to make skirts, check out Camp So Social. Um, it's our... Um, our fashion sewing retreat it's a deluxe retreat we stay in this beautiful log cabin on the shores of Lake Norman and they just built a beautiful pool with um, amazing views it's like of the whole lake it's um, it's just beautiful we do fashion painting and sewing we um, I love to make skirts I think you can do a lot of designs with them so I uh, hope my campers like to do skirts but they can make anything they want <laughs> um, also, I also have other skirts on my YouTube channel here. Uh, see if you can find that one, the evolution of um, a cocktail gown, of a formal gown, when I changed the skirts on everything. And I have a, a bunch of skirts that I've designed on there. So, I uh, hope you make a panel skirt. They're fun. Get, uh, go, go search out some panels. What can you design with them? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.